I remember as a young child in Cape Breton seeing a neighbor collecting bottles and garbage each day with focus and pride. I asked my dad why he spent his days cleaning up our neighborhood while other men went to work at the steel plant. He told me our neighbor was once the best looking and smartest guy in high school and was one of the lucky few that got to study at the best university in Canada. This same person was now living alone in a basement apartment, having experienced a severe mental breakdown during his first year of university in the late 1950s. He ended up coming home not with a degree, but with a lobotomy. This experience made a permanent impression on me. I didn't know what mental illness was, and I never felt fear or witnessed any community stigma or shame against him. That story has stuck with me for the past 30 years. That neighbor, living as part of the community, living well despite his illness, was one of the reasons I came to CMHA Calgary. I've heard hundreds of stories of people living good lives with mental illness, and I wanted to be involved in making that possible for thousands more. I see hope reflected in the lives of our clients every day. I see now what mental health supports can do and how recovery happens and is sustained. I talk with clients who are going back to a job, having developed new life skills in our programs. I've shadowed staff that work under bridges and behind bottle depots, providing hope to everyone they talk with. I know there's always more that we can do. CMHA Calgary has been here for 60 years, and I'm honored and thankful to be a part of a future where neighbors are just neighbors despite mental illness.